As humans, we face many temptations. As college students, we face many specific temptations that pertain to young, the world around young adults. That includes partying. Sometimes you can convince yourself that you won't be negatively affected if you go to a party but don't partake in any of the partying aspects other than just dancing or enjoying yourself. However, party culture encourages intoxication, violence, and unplanned sexual behavior. Being in the presence of such actions can affect an individual, even if they are not giving in to temptation to join in. God wants us to treat our bodies as temples. Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 3.16 says, Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. When you are so sober, you are aware of life around you and you're able to make decisions and act on those decisions with your own control. It says in Luke 21, 34, be on guard so that your hearts will not be weighted down with dissipation and drunkenness and the worries of life so that when the day comes, you will not be in a sudden, it will not come on you suddenly like a trap. Not to mention party, a lot of party activity is illegal. There's no reason for me to explain why that activity is wrong. God calls us to be set apart. Romans 12, 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. I encourage you to not even tag along when people go to parties, or at least be educated on the way you act and what people are doing so you understand how you act and how to control yourself. God wants us to be smart individuals who are able to be in control of their lives. Partying disrupts that behavior.